mind on one man up against his former club. Will he make an impact live on EA TV? Well, for our match today, we've travelled to the east coast of the Iberian Peninsula. We're in Valencia at the Estadio Mestalla. My name is Derek Ray, and with me for commentary is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Valencia, and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, really looking forward to both teams producing entertaining football. Let's see if we get that. Well, it is without question a very special day. This is debut match. What ought we to expect from him today, Lee? Well, they were looking a bit thin in the middle of the park. They had to reinforce in that area, and it's a good bit of business for me. It'll be interesting to see how he settles in with his new teammates. It can take a little time, but hopefully he'll get off to a good start today. Here's the initial 11 for Valencia. Joao Cancelo starts with Gaia in the fullback positions, and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. run the rule over the Athletic Bilbao starting lineup. Alessio Romagnoli plays with Yerai in central defence and rather than use a strike partnership they've gone with just the one player in attack. One to get pulses racing let us hope. Valencia with the kickoff here. Ricky Puig. Soler. It's with Gaia now. Ozan Kabak. Joao Cancelo. Ricky Puig. Almada. It's with Carlos Soler. Saar in possession. And a fine tackle. It's been well nigh impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of the game. Up against his old club, and that is never easy for a footballer, a mixture of emotions, Lee. Well, Derek, it could be a hugely emotional day, that's for sure. Seeing old friends, teammates, wives, families, etc. But all that has to be acknowledged and then forgotten about instantly. Get on with the game in hand, do your job, perform for your team. Well, High-quality defending. Well, for Valencia, you have to say it was a great performance against Real Sociedad. How do you see this one going, Lee? Well, it was an easy... Could be! And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. But well, then there's plenty to do from there. He's hit it so well. Lots of pace, lots of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. The opening goal of the game then. Will Hughes. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Ozan Kabak. Ismail Assar. Ricky Puig. Malen with it. Oh, a nice looking pass. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him.
Well, as we see it again, the one-two is so hard to stop when it's done like that. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. So, 2-0 now. creative look about this well they did have possession of the ball but all that good work now counts for nothing and let's go to Alan McAnally because a goal has been scored in the Betis game Alan it's a goal for Real Betis 20 minutes played 1-0 Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse Daniel Malin now potential danger well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Muniain and making use of his physical strength to hang on to it Muniain delivered into the area here it comes to absolutely nothing useful cross towards the near post well they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity Really good Valencia possession stats. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. Soler. Ricky Puig. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Unai Lopez. Munyain. Oh, great vision. Oh, denied by the post. What an important piece of defending. And able to get a body in the way. And now the delivery. Constantly thwarted. De Marcos, Marcel Halstenberg, and it's played into the centre, attending to his defensive chores. This might be ideal for the counter. Soler. Gonzalo Getsch. And on the ball, Gaia. Almada. Soler. An incisive pass. And it all counts for naught. Cordoba. And Hughes has it. Gomez. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Ricky Puig. Saar in possession. Daniel Malen. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Oh, in with a chance. Oh, just off target. Well, it was a wonderful break at speed and looked like they were going to capitalise on it. Not far off, Derek. Muniain Gomez Will Hughes Pressure exerted but he keeps the ball Gomez with it Offside by a fraction well, There is going to be stoppage time but only the one minute Ozan Kabak and there it is, the half-time whistle. A 
And we're focusing on him for a reason. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders, Lee. Well, he knows where the goal is, he really does. Goals flying in all over the place. He's calm in front of it. Goalie's nightmare. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Muniain. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Unai Lopez. Now Muniain. And moving the ball nicely. Marcel Halstenberg. It's with Lopez. The cross is on. Less than convincing defending. Munyain. Cordoba. It is to be a throw in. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up, and both will come on here. Munyain, Danny Garcia. He has time to play it over. Good looking cross. Taking care of business defensively here. Played into the centre of the box. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Gonzalo Getsch. Inter have been busy on the transfer front. The contract situation finally ironed out, and he could be available very soonly. Well, Derek, the figure, I think, is around £60 million. I think you're getting one heck of a player for that sort of money. He should be a real asset to the club. Ricky Puig. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Cordoba. Promising sequence. Laid into the centre. Oh, they'll be kicking themselves. Ruled offside. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. News of a goal in the Betis match. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Sevilla. It's been scored by Suso. No one picked him up and with a darting run to the front post, he was there to slot home with a free header. 61 minutes played. A glorious chance. In it goes! A three-goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, Sevilla have found the net in that match. And it's level now at one goal apiece. Well, we have a mouth-watering tussle from La Liga coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Valencia facing Real Valladolid. Yeah, the fixtures come in thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Though hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Almada. Malen with it. Well, attacking possibilities.
Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And they could do damage. And that is how to endear yourself to the fans in your debut. Well, he's in dreamland. It's all going to plan and then some. Well, as we see from the replay, it's a classic pullback cross that sets up the chance. And a 2v1 is never fair. To be honest with you, the keeper's got no chance to stop this. It's lovely football. Substitution time as is here. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, possession seeded. Yannick Gerhardt. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Joao Cancelo. 15 minutes remaining. Almada. Ismail Assar. I must say, this looks promising. And unable to keep the ball. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Or can they be creative from here? And the cross smuggled away. Danny Garcia. Looks promising this. Decided to come in from the flank. And they deal with the threat this time. Cordoba. And options in the centre. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And they could face difficulties here. Munyain. Alstenberg has it. A decisive clearance it was. Marcel Halstenberg. Gaia. It's with Kabak. Pau Torres. Ricky Puig. Malen with it. And five minutes to go. And very deftly cut out. Danny Garcia. And continues his run. And lining it up. Chance to cross. Pulls it back. And still an opportunity. De Marcos. A really effective shielding under pressure. They decided. that now is the time to go to the bench. Pedrosa. Torres on the ball. Ozan Kabak. And there it is, the final whistle, and Valencia have picked up maximum points. Delight for their fans around the world. Lee, what did you think? Well, it must be a dream as a striker to play in this team. They create for fun and have a lovely attacking style about them. Clinical finishing today as well. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.